Okay, uh, this is video six in the series uh, Street Evangelism. Uh, let's discuss the kind of attitude and demeanor uh, you should have if you want to do street evangelism. Uh, let's go to Second Timothy uh, chapter two. Yeah, I think uh, God uh, explains this really well here. He gives us instructions. Uh, verse 24, um, And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient, in meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves, if God preadventures will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil who are taken captive by him at his will. Mm -hmm. um, should I go to the next verse? No, let's talk about it just for okay. a minute here. So it's basically it's saying, first of all, we, we shouldn't have strife. We shouldn't be quarrelsome. Strife is forbidden. Yes. According to this... Uh, and it says to be, uh, to be kind to, to everyone. Yep, gentle. Uh, patient. Even if they were being wrong, we're to be yeah. patient and kind, not quarrelsome, uh, gentle, and meek. Now, these are the qualities that you really should pray for. If you don't have these qualities, you need to pray that you can go out and witness for Jesus Christ with uh, loving kindness, gentleness, and meekness. Uh, yeah, and it says, uh, it goes on to say, if God preadventures will give them Repentance, a change of mind. Yes. To the acknowledging of the truth. Right. The truth would be the gospel. So here are the um, the adjectives that would describe uh, 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 someone doing evangelism in the proper way, according to the Apostle Paul. Uh, he says, you're not quarreling, or you're being kind and gentle and patient and meek. And in that way, people may come to the knowledge of the truth and they may change their mind and say I uh, I know who he is and I, I believe that the Son of God paid for my sins so well, let's move on now to uh, talking about uh, when people do not respond very kindly to us and that does happen sometimes we uh, uh, no matter how kindly and gently and meekly we, we want to uh, present the gospel sometimes you're going to have some people that uh, they just get angry anyway. So let's go to Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12, verse 17. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it, if it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, Avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Some more instructions here. Um, from okay, God. Let, let's back up and go over some of these key points here. It says, do not repay anyone evil for evil. So, even if someone decides that, you know, uh, that um, they don't want to hear about Jesus and they just want to flip you the bird or call you a name or even say something bad about Jesus, we are not supposed to respond in the same way, evil for evil. That's the instruction. Uh, retaliation forbidden. And it says, be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everybody. Now this is a very, very important point because let's say that um, uh, you and I are out there together and somebody uh, somebody insults me as I'm preaching. And if I get nasty back with them, uh, not only is it not helpful to that individual because I'm responding the wrong way, but how about the 100 or two or 300 people who are observing the whole thing? Exactly. They're also witnessing the way that we deal with people. Uh, so we've got to keep in mind, sometimes it's not even the one individual that's the issue. It's all the people who are watching. We're always ambassadors for Christ. We must always be on our best behavior and, and respond in a way so that the whole crowd can see that street preacher's not like that other person. That, that one person is there being really 
um, mean, abusive, insulting to the street preacher, but the street preacher is not responding the same way. There's a great lesson in that, isn't there? Yeah, and that, that's a, a, um, down the road, maybe the person you're dealing with, you treated him kind, and it still leaves the door open for another Christian to come along and share the gospel with yeah. him. If you got really uh, ugly with him, um, then he, he, another Christian may come along and he might uh, still be offended uh, from what happened in, in, in your guys' uh, exchange. Now, the, the natural thing for us to do is uh, uh, if someone's really mean to us, you know, we get angry and we, want to re- we react that way. Uh, if, uh, but we, we, we don't want to be in the natural. We don't want to be in the flesh. We need to be supernatural. We need to be the Holy Spirit working through us. And, and when that happens, we don't react the natural way. Man does. Uh, and it says here, this, is, this doesn't seem like natural. If your enemy is hungry, feed him. Your enemy is hungry, you feed him. If he's thirsty, give him something to drink. This is your enemy. This is the person that wants to kill you, wants to abuse you in some way, wants to be really mean and cruel to you. But we're instructed, don't return evil for evil. 